Hello and welcome to the Thursday, May 25th, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Jesse today wrote a diary expanding his Cowrie processor tools. It's a Python script that Jesse, I think, originally developed actually while he was still one of our undergraduate interns. We do use a Cowrie as part of this program. So one of the questions that always comes up is, you know, how do you find interesting logs? In this particular case, of course, one thing that helps is if you can easily attach various external data to your logs. And that's what Jesse's script does. He expanded it now even further, added additional details to it, and has some sort of interesting little samples to show you what the tool can do as part of this latest diary. So great for everybody who is using Kauri and is looking for more efficient ways to look through the logs. And then we have a yet another a big announcement from a number of cybersecurity agencies in different countries in the US here. For example, the NSA was part of it, but also Australia, Canada, UK, and others have taken part in this. And they assigned the name Walt Typhoon to this particular activity. Now, whenever you read one of uh, these bulletins, of course, they are describing fairly sophisticated techniques that were found to be used in very specific cases. I believe here, attacks against power system in Guam, if I got it correctly. The way you should really read them is uh, look uh, for any of the techniques being described here. And there's a lot about uh, the use of uh, living off the land uh, tools, for example, but also the use of compromised home routers again. And uh, try to figure out if you would be able to detect a similar activity in your network. Uh, because what may happen soon is that you'll see these techniques being used, for example, by cyber criminals, ransomware gangs and such, as they trickle down kind of the attacker food chain. So uh, take a look at it and don't just look at hashes and such, but look at the actual techniques. For example, here how WMIC, PowerShell, NetShell and all these tools uh, were used as part of uh, the attack. And ESET uncovered an interesting case of a relatively popular Google Play Store app, iRecorder, that apparently turned bad sometime in 2022. The problem here is that iRecorder, it's a screen recording app, was originally published September 2021 and behaved as expected. And of course, with an application that intentionally does record your screen, well, of course, you do give it all kinds of permissions. But then again, in August, 22, it looks like an update was avail made available that added some malicious functionality. In particular, it would record audio and then just exfiltrate that every 15 minutes, but also would exfiltrate uh, files uh, from the Android phone. 50,000 downloads, it has since, of course, been removed from the Google Play Store. And then we got a few patches uh, to mention. Cycel released updates for a number of different uh, firewalls. Two buffer overflows are being patched here that may allow unauthenticated remote code execution. And Barracuda released an update for its email security uh, gateway. Uh, this update fixes a uh, vulnerability related to tar files. Very common uh, problem actually where tar files are being untarred in order to inspect them. Uh, but of course, as you create the different files inside the tar file, you have to be careful that you're not overriding any valid files in particular as they may traverse different directories. And that's exactly the problem they had here. Very common for similar problems as well. The particular fix was released a day after the vulnerability became known. 
And then we got an update for GitLab. GitLab is now at version 16.01. That's the fixed version. And there is a single vulnerability being addressed here, CVE 2023-2825. It's described as an arbitrary file read vulnerability, but it is also being assigned a CVSS score of and, and GitLab does state that they strongly recommend that you update your installations as soon as possible. Well, this is it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.